Hi and welcome back for the 10th installment in the Mouse House series. Today I'm building a fireplace and log basket. First up is the log basket. I cut off the end of the toothpaste box and using contact adhesive I wound twine around and around the box to make it look like a basket. Keep the rows very close together. If you're new to this channel, click subscribe so you don't miss any new uploads. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and don't forget to leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Make sure the ends of the twine are secured down well. Once the glue is dry, it's ready to be filled with mini logs. Now for the fireplace. I started with the mantelpiece which was a small piece of scrap wood and I used acrylic paint to stain it. A nice rich colour. I finished it off with a couple of coats of varnish and set it aside. I wanted a stone look fireplace and chimney so I grabbed a bunch of those takeaway drink trays and I cut them up to make small stone shapes. These trays are textured so it will help to make the rock effect that I was after. I made sure to cut them all different shapes and sizes. Let's construct this chimney. Using foam board I cut out the pieces for the outside of the chimney and the inside of the fireplace, remembering to leave a gap for the mantelpiece. I started by gluing the chimney exterior together. While the glue is drying now it's time for the inside of the fireplace. You may notice the back piece has a small notch cut out of it. That's a crafting leap of faith. 
I had an idea I wasn't 100% sure I was going to pull off yet at this point. Keep watching till the end and you'll see what I mean. Better double check the half still fits okay. Now to glue on the front facing of the fireplace. Glue the section we've just been working on to the external part of the chimney and leave it to dry while working on the hearth. I cut out larger pieces of drink tray to cover the top and front edges of the hearth to make it look like a stone slab and I glued them on. If you're wondering why I'm using small squares of drink tray under the pegs, it's to stop the pegs making marks on our fake stone. I totally forgot to hit record on the camera, but I covered the external joins and edges on the chimney with a layer of papier-mâché to A strengthen them and B make the finished edges smoother. Once that was dry, I glued in the stone half, and as you can see that notch at the back is still visible. Remember all those stones we cut out earlier? Let's start gluing them onto the chimney and fireplace, facing rough side up. Leave small gaps between them for the grout.
check for any gaps and trim down some stones to fit. You don't want any big gaps remaining. To give the stones some depth and colour, I gave them some highlights with chalk pastels. It helps to stop them looking so one-dimensional. Inside the fireplace, I tried to make it look all used and sooty. get onto the grouting. First I had to give the stonework a few coats with a mix of white blue and water or you could use Mod Podge. After three coats I decided to also add a coat of varnish too. This helps to protect the stones during the grouting process. Mm -hmm. 